Hi everyone, my name is David Vinoker of Captivix. We are a business technology group based in Chicago, Illinois, and we are a Microsoft partner specializing in Microsoft Dynamics implementation. This video is part of our AX7 introductory series. It's meant to get you up and running with Microsoft Dynamics AX7 and help you reach your goals and complete business tasks. Creating a BOM and maintaining BOM versions is very simple in AX7. To get started, head over to your released product screen through the main menu. Here we will select a product that will be associated with our newly created BOM and BOM version. Filter and select your product from the product list then click on the Engineer tab, and in the BOM group, select BOM versions. This will take you to the BOM version management screen. To build a BOM, click on the Bill of Materials tab and select Create BOM. Assign a BOM number and give it a name. In this example, we'll be building a PC. Click OK and you will be taken to the BOM details screen. Here, you can add raw materials, resources, processes, or even sub-assembly bombs. Begin typing your bomb item numbers and results will populate automatically. In this example, we'll be adding six bomb line items with corresponding quantities. Click Save to save your bomb and X to return to the bomb management screen. You will see your new bomb in the bomb list. Now, let's create a version or variation of that bomb. One way to do this is to create a bomb and then copy over a different bomb's attributes onto it. To do this, click the Bill of Materials tab and select Create Bomb. The Create Bomb form will appear. Go ahead and assign a bomb number with version code and also give it a name. Press OK and you will be taken to the newly created bomb. Here, we will be copying over the previously created bomb assembly. To do so, click the Bill of Materials tab and select Copy from the Maintain group. Here we will select the bomb that we want to copy from. Begin by typing the product to which the original bomb is assigned to, and as it appears in the list, go ahead and select it. Next, locate the bomb itself by going into the Bomb Number field and just begin typing it and you'll see it appear in the list. Once you see the one that's the original, go ahead and select it as well. Press OK and you will be taken to the new BOM version. Here you can make changes to the BOM such as adding or removing line items, changing quantities, and more. For instance, here we can change a quantity of one of the line items. We'll change it from 2 to 1. We can also add a line item by clicking the plus new icon. Just select it from the list as it appears. Note that this screen gives you an option to associate a particular BOM version to a business site. You can do this on this screen or during the BOM creation process. When finished, click Save and then X to return back to the BOM version management screen. Here you'll see both versions of your BOM listed. Here you can make name adjustments to make them more descriptive if you'd like. At this point, you can approve and activate your BOMs to go live. Creating and maintaining bombs and managing versions is quite simple in AX7. If you have any questions about Microsoft Dynamics, feel free to contact us via captivix.com. Thanks for watching and take care.